the basic first steps to doing a search. This is a live training with Brad in the hot conference room and a few others. And John Archer is brand new to Message Magic. You want to make sure that you have gotten your Skype ready. So I said the first thing is make sure you have a Skype account, right? Skype.com, S-K-Y-P-E dot com. And, uh, or go to IncomeAssurance.com. I assure you in income. IncomeAssurance.com slash Skype. Uh, if you go in your main Skype window, once you have Skype, to View, and then go down to Contact Groups, it, you can enable your Contact View and then contact groups and you want to click that put a check mark next to it enable contact groups okay so now I can go to contact groups and I can see all the contact groups I have I've created one called test group and last week added Mary to it I'm gonna add a couple people who I have already gotten their permission to send test messages to don't add anybody to your test group that you don't want added there so that this is important to get your Skype set up correctly before you actually start using message magic so let me demonstrate adding a person to my test group I've already got permission I have permission from Hyla to add her to my test group here's another account of mine I'm gonna drag that person I'm clicking on them getting them blue it's a different account of myself adding them to the test group Okay, so now I've got two people in my test group, myself on another account, and also Mary Kohlenberg. That's the first thing you want to do. Did you set up a test group in your Skype? I am working on that, and I kicked my internet cable, so... Kicked your internet cable. That won't work. Once you have your test group set up, we can do a search pattern in Message Magic, and then before you actually send to those people, I can show you how it works, but first I want you to practice writing a message and sending a message to your to your test group. Do you have anyone you can add? You can temporarily add me as a test partner if you need one, Brad. And then after this, let's... Or after you find some new people for your test group, you can cancel that. How's that sound? You can do this in your Skype too, John, actually. Go to your main Skype menu and, and go up to view. I think it says enable groups. Are you guys finding that okay? Can I quickly show you how to do a search pattern? That'd be wonderful. We're going to practice doing a search pattern now. We're showing the Message Magic software right now, and I'm showing the left side what we just did in preparing to send a test message first is actually on the right side over here. Uh, we're going to quickly show how to do a search pattern just and just focus on that. Uh, over on the right side here is where you send a a message in 140 characters or less and of course you don't want to send that to new people that you're gonna find first your, your first message you want to send to your to your test group so just to keep that relevant and what what I started with here below the message box here where I typed hi you got these two buttons add contact that will actually send whatever message is in this box you want to practice using the first name tag with your test group of course and I'll show that in another video or screenshots we've got it all over the place at the Ning site in my blog and you also want to send the message so that it's in permanent history and you can see that so when you do a test and when you use this add the contact and send the message with exceptions I'm sure that's generally what you'd want to do to do a search pattern, it says minimum three cares. That means characters. It doesn't mean three words. It means three letters or numbers. Characters. Give me an example of a search pattern that you would like to use. What kind of a key term would you like to search for just off the top of your head? And I'm going to let you use the mic. Now go ahead, Brad. Give me an example. I guess the easiest would be home business one of the learning curves with doing a search pattern similar to this kind of niche home business internet marketing you know etc um, is that they're all going to be spamming you and that's okay because you can actually start talking to them as a person and those who that who love that love the fact that they're getting a response have potential and they are possibly teachable and trainable 
and can learn to use Skype correctly. So it, in that way, if you've got that mindset and you don't mind that they're spamming you, that they're sending ads to you, that they're using Skype as ad, an advertising tool and you actually respond to them honestly, then that can actually work. Some of them will be amazed that they're getting somebody actually talking to them back. Some of them will never respond and those you can remove. Um, <laughs> they're not teachable or trainable. They're going to be shut down someday by Skype for spamming. Here we have a, a pattern called home business. And the, the first mistake that people make is that if you hit search, you won't get anywhere. Once you hit a, a pattern or key term in the, in the pattern box, you need to add and it will pop up there to the left. That's adding the pattern to your message magic. You can save the pattern in a file in your spreadsheet. You can also load patterns you've saved in the past. And you can clear the pattern easily just by hitting clear. Boom. Once you have added the search pattern, it's no longer in the pattern box, but it is up here in the left in your search patterns in message magic. Then you can do a search. Now watch what happens in the middle box. The gray middle box will start gradually filling with people and you should get a count on the left. There, 16. In this search, it'll find 16 people on the left. You can see the count. And as Mary experienced last week, um, that count will change every time you do a search. She got 15, I got 19, she got 12, I got 10. At one point, I think we got 21 or something like that. Um, sometimes they're the same people, sometimes they're different people. We need to teach you how to what to do with them next. Brad, you can see a whole bunch of people showed up. So that's exciting. We've now showed how you how you do a search. Next, we will show you the critical, critical thing, most critical thing that you must do before you can send them a message. Other than, of course, first you send a message, the, write a message here and send it to your test group first and make sure it looks good by checking your Skype history. But when you're ready to send to these people, do you remember what the next step is, Mary? I Yes, when you're ready to send, uh, you need to write a message. That's correct. And I saved mine to Notepad. You you saved your message to Notepad. That's good. But I'm I'm looking at the middle box right now, and we've got a bunch of users in there. And oh, uh, don't don't you need to save them or something? You need to select them. Otherwise, nothing. They won't send a message to any of them. So the way to select all the way in the upper right, right here, bink, as soon as you do that, it puts a check mark next to all of them. In the next video, we're going to answer what you do next. Hopefully, we'll create a nice series from this. Thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Uh, but before I shut it down, Brad, do you want to ask any questions so far? Of course. Thank you very much for being so patient with me. Um, I guess my only question is, when you're doing your search, is the term or the word you're using related to the user's name? Is that what it's going off of? I mean, the, we said home business, so I see a lot of the users have home in their username. Is that how it relates to the search? You see some people are actually using home business in their full name. So that's clear that one thing that Message Magic is searching for, or Skype even, is searching for, it's finding your search pattern in either their full name or their username or their user ID. So that's for sure. And what I understand is that it's also finding information in their Skype profiles. It would be great to find somebody who doesn't have the term you're searching for in either their username or full name. Maybe this Linda Her fragrantliving.co. Uh, try, try a search for Linda Her and look at her Skype profile. Let me show briefly how to do a search for someone in Skype itself and, we can, and how to look at someone's profile. Okay, I'm going to um, hit find. It found several. And there's the one, fragrant, fragrantly something. She's got a URL in her full name. So I'm right clicking from the search, okay, from the results in the search. I'm right clicking and I can start a chat. I can, I wouldn't start a call. I think that's improper etiquette or netiquette, internetiquette. I can look at her profile. And do we see home business in her profile? Yes, we do. Home 
based business. She doesn't even have it in that order. She has easy home-based business. Home business is in her Skype profile. So I would say that's proof that it's also searching the Skype profiles as well. I will uh, do some due diligence. I think it'll help me get uh, more comfortable with the uh, program as well. Again, thank you and everybody for your help. Thanks for everybody watching the video. I'm going to end this now. We'll take it to the next step later. You let us know what you need to see in a video.